Now, India's Chandrayaan-3 completed its two-week-long lunar mission successfully. But did you know that the Chandrayaan-3 Pragyan rover had a special plan? Now, the rover wanted to leave India's imprint on the moon permanently. But now it's been learned that the rover could not do this. And in our next report, uh, Vyond's correspondent Siddharth MP tells you as to what's been happening on this front. Remember this iconic photograph from the moon? The first ever step of man on the moon by Neil Armstrong from July 19, 1969. This step and its imprint lasts permanently on the moon. It's there as it is, even today. That's because there's no air on the moon. In addition to the Chandrayaan-3 landing, ISRO envisaged a special plan to leave behind India's imprint and trail on the moon. How? The rear wheels of the six-wheeled Pragyan rover had the Indian national emblem and the ISRO logo. As the rover would move around, its imprints would be created for eternity. However, that did not happen. The rover wheels were unable to leave a clear imprint. There are a handful of reasons that perhaps led to this. ISRO says that the region where Chandrayaan-3 landed had lumpy soil and perhaps it was an uneven surface. Let's also remember that Pragyan rover weighs 26 kilograms, but on the moon with one-sixth gravity, the same rover would weigh around 4.5 kilograms. This raises the question, would a heavier rover be needed to create an imprint in this lumpy lunar soil? Another important factor is how deep the rover wheel treads into the lunar soil. Only deeper research by ISRO can unravel the mystery. Queried about what could possibly lead to the finding of lumpy lunar soil near the Chandrayaan-3 landing site, India's moon man Dr. Mileswami Anadurai, a former ISRO scientist, told Vyond that it could possibly indicate the presence of lunar water, ice or even volatile elements or elements that can quickly turn into gas. He however says that it will take years or months for the Chandrayaan-3 data to be analysed to find out what led to lumpy soil near the site and to actually derive credible scientific outcomes from it. Meanwhile, ISRO is still making attempts to contact Chandrayaan 3's Vikram lander, which was supposed to awaken any time after the 22nd of September. ISRO sources tell us that they are waiting for signals from the Vikram lander, and this wait will continue throughout the lunar day, which could last until the first week of October. From Chennai, Siddharth MP, Vion, World is One. Vion is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.